Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna show you how to make awesome menu bars within minutes using cssmenumaker.com people okay so we're gonna create a menu uh, similar to the one that you see out here which is also gonna have an active state and a hover state you know at the moment the home button is in the active state right so uh, let's get back to my uh, local site folder people I have already created four documents about contact index and products.html I'm gonna kill them I'm gonna redo uh, all these four pages again people have downloaded three images from the website I'm gonna preserve them so that I save time and I have don't have to do it all over again okay <coughs> excuse me so let's do things from scratch people so I'm uh, at cssmenumaker.com go where you see menus hover over menus and then as an example people I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna take a horizontal menu bar and then choose uh, this one the second one from the left which does not have any sub menus okay this is just an example people you can explore the website it has a lot more to offer than I'm gonna show you today alrighty and uh, people there are some features that are actually uh, premium features you features that you need to pay for but I'm gonna show you a way in which you don't need to pay anything and you get the uh, best end result click on the customize download and not on the dream viewer extension okay once you do that people uh, you'll be presented with a menu this is the preview people this is the preview okay and uh, you, you'll have four tabs of four labels home products about and contact people you can click on these uh, crosses and remove the labels of the tabs or you can add a few more of your own you know so new label or new menu item let's say plus you can add it or you can simply remove it back or you can remove these items too you can change the title from here so if you go to products you can change the title from here if you go to about you can change the title from here okay uh, be on the home tab people notice that it has an active state the products does not have an active state whatever has an active state has this bluish uh, area all around it okay <coughs> right at the same time people notice that I already have downloaded these three images as I showed you in my local site folder so I don't need to do it again but you should so the first thing you should do is in the root of your document in the root folder download these three images alrighty and uh, as far as the settings go people you can go to the main menu settings like this you can change the width from auto to uh, few pixels whatever you would uh, like or you can keep it auto like me to keep it liquid or fluid you can adjust the font size but I'm gonna keep it at 15 itself okay uh, the first step that you need to take is you need to go to uh, the HTML tab copy the HTML select it like so say control C to copy uh, bring up dream viewer people let's do everything from scratch so create new HTML document scrap this code people completely okay uh, write HTML colon 5 if you have Zen coding, otherwise just code out the normal way people I'm using Zen coding it's a code assist plugin that you can get off the internet as an extension for dream we were absolutely free people press control plus comma to expand the code right here and inside the body of the document people uh, push in the code that I had just copied over okay so a paste out here control V to paste the code alrighty and next people get back to the same website cssmenumaker.com go to the CSS section people copy the whole CSS like the way I'm actually doing control C to copy get back to Dreamweaver and after the title tag give some title whatever you would like I'm actually skipping it and I'm writing style control plus comma so basically inside the opening and the closing style tags people push in the CSS basically creating internal or embedded rule you could have even created an external style sheet too which is absolutely fine alrighty so notice people uh, the body of the document has a div only single div with an ID of CSS menu has an opening UL tag out here as a closing UL tag out here the div closes out here has four LI items which in turn have anchor tags right which have labels of home products about and contact and uh, anchor tag pointing to index.html make a change out here point the second uh, href to uh, products.html simply because it has a label of products out here this one should become you guess it right about.html and the last one should be contact.html alrighty let's save the document uh, up 
give it a name of index okay let's say save as <coughs> give the second one a name of products.html the third one a name of save as about dot html and the fourth one save as contact dot html okay now let me get back to index dot html people notice that the first li item has a class of active and the last li item has a class of last all li items have anchor tags which point to index dot html products dot html about dot html uh, and contact dot html have labels inside opening closing span tags of home products about and contact right so uh, let's get to products dot html the first thing uh, you'll need to do is people highlight the first li item okay it has a class of active as you can see out here remove that class make the class none you see the class gets removed from the first li item instead attach it to the second li item in line number 79 so click in the you know where we have the second li item so that the cursor is blinking and attach a class of active to this one all right see the class get attached to the second li item and uh, just save the file up like so go to about.html people go down in the opening closing body tags again remove the class active from the first li item so make it none instead of attach it to the third li item in line number 80 like this okay notice that the fourth li item has a class of last already we really did need not know what that class active and what that class uh, last really is just follow me along and you'll be actually done okay go to contact.html people and then uh, remove the class from the first li item active remove it so none and attach it to the last li item which already has a class of last so click on last so that the cursor is blinking and uh, apply multiple classes to this like this so last as well as uh, active say okay and we are actually sorted people say save all go to index.html press f12 to take up a preview in uh, your preferred browser okay and you see uh, you're actually done i must have made a small mistake so contact.html about.html products.html index.html file save all index.html products.html about dot html contact dot html let's take up a browser preview again okay this works this works this works. oh contact has a problem so let's go to contact dot html and let's check out the problem okay uh, I've actually figured what the problem is mm, let me bring up my local site folder I've just named it wrongly the spelling is wrong let me correct the spelling of contact so contact yep now I should be fine let's bring up index.html products.html about.html and contact.html we have a hover and active state too so just a small uh, typo and everything is just fine people so people I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll hope uh, that you'll thumb the video up uh, I'll hope that you will subscribe if you already haven't and I will also hope uh, that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me, won't you? You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.